here we have the new motor from Airbot. And this one's the Mr. Copper 2306-2700KV. It was sent in by Airbot uh, for testing, so thank you Airbot for sending the motor for testing so I can share the results uh, with my viewers. Uh, so it comes in this very simple box, cardboard, and nothing fancy, so that's good. It keeps the cost down. And uh, they include uh, four short uh, Allen screws. These are for 3mm frames and a color matching lock nut. And it's uh, low profile and the motor comes uh, packaged in this plastic. So there it is. As you can see, pretty uh, a different looking motor with the copper plating. And I don't actually know if it's copper plating. Anyways, the color is copper. So it's actually, seems like it's not paint, but it's plated because even the shaft is the same color. Uh, the whole motor is the same color and it doesn't have any, uh, there's no lettering or labeling on the motor. So uh, so my best guess is that uh, this has been plated, uh, the whole uh, uh, motor casing and uh, base everything's plated looks pretty cool I think uh, different than any other motor out there just by looking at it it actually uh, feels and looks like a, a high quality motor it doesn't seem like it's any uh, low budget at least just by appearance it, I guess the the color has a lot to do with it a lot of bling uh, but as you can see motors uh, pretty nicely put together uh, and it includes all the latest features uh, one piece shaft four millimeter uh, shaft through the motor and uh, four by nine by four bearings and the shaft retaining screw a naked bottom base mount base so everything's in there magnets are pretty much standard size and air gap between the magnets and the stators uh, looks pretty good it's not overly tight and it's not that wide either it looks pretty good magnets also seem to be arc magnets there's not that much information on the website as far as what material the motor is made out of or what type of magnets they're using or not much uh, so last time I checked uh, it was just the basic information anyways we'll see how the motor does in, on the test and how it compares to other motors the motor comes with 150 millimeters of uh, 20 gauge wire for the motor leads so with that much wire let's see what it weighs so that comes in at 37.5 and if we cut the wires to about 50 millimeters we'll be getting rid of that much wire so let's tear that it's 2.3 grams so 35.2 uh, not uh, the lightest 2306 but uh, not that bad actually um, it's, uh, I, I think the lightest 2306's are around 30-31 grams so it's a good uh, four, 4 grams uh, over the lightest motors so removing the shaft uh, retaining screw has, uh, took a little bit of force they use uh, a good amount of uh, Loctite and it was uh, pretty well set in so uh, you have to uh, make sure you push the Allen wrench all the way in and then just slowly crank it make sure it's well seated otherwise you're gonna mess up the uh, Allen although the Allen screws uh, they use are uh, pretty strong they have a big uh, head and, and they're not uh, the 1.5 uh, these are 2 millimeters so that's uh, that's good that makes it easier to remove and less likely to uh, mess up the uh, the head of the of the screw and uh, once I remove it uh, you can see the shaft is actually hollow all the way through so that's pretty good and uh, there was no brass uh, washer so they just used the um, the head of the screw uh, to match to the bearing there so Alright, so let's pull this apart and we'll take a look at it under the magnifying glass. Alright, so here's the bell and there you can see the one piece uh, 
shaft and as you can see it, it you can see the the actual color there and that's where it's plated so kind of neat they plated the whole thing and uh, the shaft is magnetic so uh, most likely just uh, uh, hardened steel and magnets as you can see they do have a, a little curve to them so they are arc magnets uh, no idea as to what uh, grade of magnets they are as uh, on the product uh, page the motor page they don't uh, give you that much information there is a small lip there so that helps keep uh, the magnets in place uh, four millimeter shaft uh, is hollow all the way through as you can see there and uh, here's the um, stator so stator should be six millimeters uh, yeah six millimeters and uh, it is bare there there doesn't have any uh, epoxy coating on the face of the um, stator pretty nice windings as you can see they're all nice and neat single strand wire there's the uh, naked bottom base wires are pretty well tucked in uh, there shouldn't be any danger of uh, exposed wires in a crash getting uh, ripped up so that's good uh, so overall uh, uh, pretty nicely put together motor uh, there you can see a close-up of the air gap so you can see it's pretty good I think it's not overly tight and not loose at all so overall a nicely put together motor should do pretty well on the thrust I think so we'll put back the uh, retaining screw and uh, put it on the thrust stand and see how it uh, see how it does how it compares to other 2306s Alright, so let's look at the thrust test results uh, for the AirBot Mr. Copper 2306-2700KV. As we saw, the motor came in at uh, right, on, right on spot at 2700KV value, so that's good. Uh, so the usual props uh, for a 2700KV motor, I tested on 3S and 4S, starting with the uh, old uh, GenPan 5045BN, two blade, right at 1569, pretty respectable for, uh, for a two blade prop and uh, very manageable amps 43.6 uh, again as I always say keep in mind uh, these amps are gonna look uh, pretty high but that's normal for static uh, thrust uh, you always get uh, higher amps on static compared to in-flight amps uh, they're gonna be much lower could be anywhere from 25 to up to 40 percent in some cases especially when you have light builds 
on 4S and 5 inch props, the amps are going to drop dramatically, uh, the max amps anyways. Also these are max amps, so you only see them momentarily, that's what I use in my tables. I want to see what the max amp an ESC is going to see and, and then uh, we can more or less guess what the max is going to be in flight, uh, the temporary max anyway. Alright, so then uh, going on to the tri-blade props. Uh, 5043, the HQ 5043 by 3 B1S, uh, 1600 grams, pretty respectable. I mean, uh, a lot of these 2700 kV motors, 2306 and 2207s, are outputting quite a lot of uh, thrust these days. Then uh, 5040 by 4, a little bit more, 1676, amps increase a bit due to the extra blade. Then this one, uh, the other HQ V1S, the 5045 by 3. Pretty similar performance with the 5040x4, that's pretty interesting, uh, these two are very similar. Then on to the uh, DAL C5046, breaking the 1700 mark, amps keep climbing, but still manageable I think, 50 to 3 amps. Still pretty manageable, that's going to be around 30 amps in the air, that's not too bad. Then we move on to the 5045x3, this is that uh, V2 prop on 3S, nothing crazy, but on 4S. 1768 at 54 amps that's pretty good uh, this prop i think uh, some people still use it then we go on to the five and a half inch 1800 grams of thrust amps still pretty manageable i think uh, a 30 amp psc should have no problem handling this kind of uh, amps uh, all across even for the six inch uh, for the six inch we see uh, the motor approaching 1900 here with the 6040 and amps also still quite manageable 52.3 and on 3s 1388 at 40 amps pretty good thrust on 3s out of the 6 inch so overall very good performance out of this motor numbers are quite comparable to other motors of the same size and kv amps are right on line uh, for uh, the output uh, the motor is producing and as you saw on the teardown pretty nicely made motor uh, everything looks tight everything looks uh, like good uh, quality control so this motor would be a very good option to uh, use in your build I know uh, these motors are being used by uh, people flying uh, park jets. They actually use 6-inch uh, props on 3S. So I'm glad to see that this uh, information is useful for uh, those guys. There's a channel that you guys can check out if you are interested in park jets. It's E3 Scott. He's been using a lot of these 2306 motors on 6-inch props on 3S. And I was pretty amazed how well those uh, those park jets fly. And pretty cool channel. You'll want to check it out I'll, I'll put the link uh, in the description all right so uh, that's end of this uh, review and test I uh, hope you find that useful and until the next video thank you for watching